Hi, this is Amy, and today we're going to learn about Google's new tool called Backup and Sync. So the first thing that you'll need to do to get started with Backup and Sync, which is kind of the new version of Google Drive that's going to live on the desktop of your computer and keep your files synchronized to the cloud, uh, so you're going to need to install it onto your computer. So this particular tutorial is aimed toward PC users. The process is pretty much the same for Mac users. So the first thing you need to do is navigate to fried.tech forward slash backup in sync or you can just Google Google backup and sync. So when you get that pulled up, it's going to look kind of like this, probably exactly like this, unless it's been a while since I made this video. And you're going to go ahead and download and install the backup and sync file from Google. All right, once we've got backup and sync installed, we're going to find it in at least this one place. So it's going to be in our system tray and I'm going to go ahead and open it up from here and then show you what this drive looks like on my computer. So when I click the icon from the system tray I can go ahead and open up the Google Drive folder right here and you can see that it is a place now on my computer and it's backing up all of the files that I've allowed it to from my Google Drive to my computer. So this is nice because if I do go offline, uh, if I need to be offline for some reason, I'm still going to be able to edit the files that I have chosen to back up to this computer. However, I've got about 250 gigabytes in the Google Drive that is syncing to this computer, and so I really don't want to sync absolutely everything that's in my Google Drive. So that leads us to our next step. Let's go ahead and set up the preferences for Google Backup and Sync. So I'm going to click on the hot dogs here inside the tool and go into Preferences. Now I'm going to set two different sets of preferences. One set is going to be which files from my PC are going to go up into the Google Cloud and the other one is which ones from the Google Drought Cloud are going to come down to my computer. So I need to set both of those. Well first of all on my PC I don't really store a lot on here so I'm going to go ahead and back up everything. This, this is so that let's say I'm in the middle of working on a Camtasia video and I've got it saved to my desktop. If something happens for some reason I can't start my computer I'm going to be able to access this through Google Drive. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. It's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that I need to do is control what's coming down from Google Drive. Now, like I mentioned, I've got uh, 227 gigabytes of data, so I don't want to fill up my whole hard drive. So I'm only going to sync those folders that have something I really think I might need to work on you know, if I did lose internet access or if I'm on a plane. So I'm just going to sync this one folder that's got 16.7 uh, gigabytes in it. Still a lot of data, but it won't fill up my whole hard drive. Let's go ahead and go over to our settings too and take a look. So you're going to choose right here whether you want to be warned when you remove an item. What that's going to end up meaning is when I delete something off the desktop of my computer, the tool is going to ask me, do you want to delete this from your Google Drive? And I'm going to say yes or no and make that decision. Once we get this installed on our computer and we're looking at it through Google Drive, we've given it time to sync, then we're going to see this new section. So we see My Drive, Team Drives, and down here we see Computers. This is going to represent each computer that I have installed Backup and Sync on not Chromebooks, only computers, and here is this particular PC that I'm looking at right now. Now on the desktop of my PC mostly what I've got are just shortcuts. So you can kind of see that those are shortcuts there. But I do have one file on the desktop of my PC and if I wanted to I can open that from anywhere. Same goes with anything I've got stored in documents or in pictures on this computer. It's now synchronized to Google Drive and it will automatically stay synchronized as I change things on this local computer. So I hope that helps you get set up with backup and sync and you're able to start using this now to keep the files from your computer backed up. If for some reason you need to move files from a share drive or a drive that your district or your work is sponsoring, you can always put those on the hard drive of your computer and allow them to sync through this same tool.
you just want to make sure that when you go into the preferences you're actually syncing that folder that you need let's take a look at how to make sure you're doing that so we'll go back to the tool back to the hot dogs and to preferences and we're gonna look inside the PC portion and we're gonna make sure that the files we want to back up are inside one of these folders or else we want to choose another folder and add it to the list of files that are being backed up probably your files are all inside a place called my documents anyway which is automatically going to be added to this but if they're not you want to take a look inside this folder on your hard drive of your computer and make sure that they're inside the folder that's actually being backed up so I hope that helps. If you have more questions, please let us know in the comments of this video. As always, we would really love it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you uh, like our social media channels, we would love that too. So hope that helps. Have a great day. Bye-bye.